In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sign up to Google Workspace. I'm going to show you the whole sign up process from start to finish. So if this is valuable, watch it till the end and you'll learn all about Google Workspace. So what we first need to do is go to workspace.google.com. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and Google Google Workspace and it should be the first link. Google Workspace allows you to, to collaborate with your team. So to sign up, you want to go ahead and go to this page go to get started and that will take you to the first step. The first step is to enter in your business name and choose the number of employees. So my business name, I'm just going to sign up with knowledge base as an example, and I'm going to choose the number of employees. We'll just put two to nine and then choose your region. I'm in Thailand right now. So it's my IP address is in Thailand, but my business is registered in England. So I'm going to put here UK, then click next. Now it's going to ask me for my first name, last name and work email. So you just want to enter in these fields here, which I'll do right now. Once you've done that and you go to the next step, it's going to ask you for a domain. Now you need a domain name to use Google Workspace. Now, if you click here where it says, no, I need one, it's going to ask you to search for a domain name and get you to buy one through Google. Now, if you already have a domain for your business, you want to click here where it says, yes, I have have one I can use. And then it's going to ask for your domain name. So whether you buy one from Google or whether you have one already, it doesn't matter. You just need a domain name. Now I'm going to use my domain name here from Namecheap. So I'm going to use this domain name online, how to guide.click just for the example, right? So we're going to go back to Google workspace. I'm going to type in www dot and then paste in my domain name and then click next. For some reason, it's saying that my domain name is already in use. That's probably because I was having to play around with this before I started recording. So we're not going to use this domain name. I'm going to use this one here, knowledgebasedtutorials.com as an example. In fact, we'll use here knowledgebasehub.com. I'll use this one. Copy this domain and I'm going to enter it here. This one should be fine and you should have no problems adding your domain. So click next and then it will take you to the next step. Okay, so we are using this domain to set up the account knowledgebasehub.com. Um, you want to go ahead and click next if you're okay with that. If you want to buy a new domain here, you can do it here with this link. I'm going to click on next. It's going to ask us, do we want to receive occasional emails, which we'll click OK. And we can educate our users as well. We'll click OK. So now you need to go ahead and create a username. So if you click on username, your username is going to be whatever you type at your domain.com. So I'm going to type here Bradley at knowledgebasehub.com. So that's going to be my username. I can now go ahead and enter in a password here. Now I've done that, I can confirm that I'm not a robot and then agree and continue. Okay, so now it's going to ask you to sign in to the admin console, which is going to be your username and password that you just created. So click next. It should automatically fill in your username and then enter in your password here. For me, Google have detected unusual activity on my account. So I'm going to enter in my phone number here and receive a verification code and just confirm it's me. So I'll be back once I've done that. And then next, it's going to take you to the next step, which is going to be where you need to choose a plan. Now, the standard plan is going to be £12 per month. Now, you can pay per month, or if you want to pay for the whole year, it is going to be £10 per month, uh, which is cheaper. I'm just going to go with a £12 per month and try their free trial for 14 days. So click on this. So here we are on the next step where we need to enter in our information, our address and a payment method. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in now and then I'll be back. OK, so I just went and filled out that information and then I chose PayPal. I can't show me paying with PayPal, but after the payment's gone through, it's going to redirect you to the admin console where you can manage your account and set things up. So go ahead and click next here. OK, so now we're taken to the admin area of Google Workspace after we've paid or after we've entered in our payment details. You can see we won't start being paid for. We won't stop being billed for this service until November the 2nd, which is going to be 14 days after you sign up. So we have the free trial right now. What we need to do now is verify our domain. Now I'm going to make another video on verifying your domain, which I'll leave in the description if you want to follow that. But that was how you sign up. I hope that was valuable. Thank you for watching.